Hello YouTube, this is Generic JD, or Just JD, and today we are reviewing the Common Rider Deluxe Henshin Belt, the Callus Rouser. The Henshin device of Common Rider Callus from Common Rider Blade. And here we have the belt itself, uh, done in two separate pieces, unlike the, uh, the other belts. The uh, main part of here has a uh, red heart-ish looking thing in the center, with your silver, black, and some green orbs on the sides. The belt itself is actually not at all what we're used to in the blade line, having a, uh, a rather standard looking design as opposed to the, uh, the card motif. And the back has a similar design to the front, albeit gray. This is, uh, has no electronics in it, it's just kind of a holder for this. Once again, having the, uh, the same design as the belt itself, except with this very nice translucent uh, heart-ish thing in the center. Uh, we'll see why that is momentarily. Um, you've got speakers here, a button up here, an on and off switch, and a battery cover back here, three triple A's, big surprise there. The belt, of course, also comes with the other half of the belt, which clips in right behind this part here the buckle to go into the back of the belt, and a card holder, just like what came with the Liangle Rouser. The card holder has a uh, gold heart on the front and a similar kind of design that the, uh, the side of the belt has here. Unlike the Liangle card holder, it only has one clip, the kind that goes onto a, uh, onto a belt. There's no uh, clip for a normal belt by any means, so sorry, you're not going to be able to carry this with you. Of course, this opens, just slides to the side, and pops open, pops closed with cards in it, and you're all set. Now, let's look at the cards it comes with. The Callus Rouser comes with 12 Rouse cards, uh, much like the other Rousers do. Um, of those 12, only 6 of them are show cards and the other 6 are filler, a recurring pattern throughout the line. L starting off to uh, look at the cards, first we have the uh, Ace of Hearts, the Change Mantis, his uh, transformation card. The 2, the Spirit Human. The Chop Head, I guess it's like a hammerhead, but with uh, axe blades, okay. Uh, first of the filler cards, it says black and has a Common Rider callus on the front. Certainly not Common Rider black. Next we have a uh, heart with a close up of uh, of callus, kind of glowing rather ominously. We have the tornado hawk, looking very hawkish. The bio plant, looking like something out of a, uh, a Japanese horror movie. Okay. We have the hawk, which is a picture of him doing his hawk tornado attack, I believe it's called. Um, which isn't an actual combo, it's just him using uh, the tornado card. The Recover Camel, which is a camel with two giant tanks instead of humps. Uh, the 10 is Chase, which has his, uh, his Shadow Chaser, his motorcycle of choice. We get Jack, which says Arrow, and shows him holding the, uh, the Callus Arrow. And we get 6, which says Wave, and has him performing his uh, spinning wave attack. In addition to those, the other cards of the suit, gotten courtesy of my deluxe box, are the Float Dragonfly, the Drill Shell, okay, the Reflect Moth with some mirror wings, that's not really aerodynamic, uh, the Shuffle Centipede, which just reminds me of the, uh, the Human Centipede, the Fusion Wolf, looking very golden and fusiony. The Absorb Orchid, which I guess that's what an orchid looks like. I'm not, I'm not sure, but okay. And finally, the Evolution Paradoxia, which 
looks like a very giant mantis. So, let's take a look at how those cards work. And here we are back with the belt uh, buckle. Um, in order to conserve space, I just pulled the buckle off of the belt and we're going to uh, use that. The uh, buckle has a A or B mode, a uh, function familiar to those who know of the rousers. Uh, turning it on has uh, four LEDs light up, and then the, uh, the B mode has them uh, flash up and stay on. Unlike the uh, the other rousers, uh, well first of all it's within Callus's belt, which is completely different from how the others had separate rousers. Second, it does not directly show the amount of points left. They are signified by these four lights. The lights go off as the points go down. I don't know how many points there are in the, or how many he has to start off the top of my head, since it does not display them. So, let's get those filler cards out of the way. Just slide right through the center here. Pension, great. Change with the uh, the sound effect of transformation. Tornado, as you see, it used up points, so one of the LEDs went away. Pension for his bike, okay. Another tornado, wonderful. And finally, spinning wave, and another LED has gone off. Pressing the button on top will sound off the last ten cards scanned. What a wonderful variety of sounds. So let's reset that. And now we are all set to get to the cards that actually matter. Starting with the change card. Out of points. That's a familiar sound. So, let's reset that device. And move on. Face cards again, increase your points, not decrease them. Super. All right. Now let's move on to the combo attacks. Like the other riders, Chalice has three combo attacks, two of which will use two cards and one which will use three. All of them, of course, using Tornado, his element card. So, let's start with uh, this combination here. And we get the spinning wave, his rider chop attack. Next combo, we will be using drill. Then 
then we get spinning attack, his rider kick, which is most likely a drill kick. So for the final combo, we will add float to the last one. Then we get spinning dance, which is a flying drill kick. Also, super. In conclusion, the uh, the Chalice Rouser is actually a very nice belt. In terms of functionality, it it just completely wins out over the uh, the other blade belts, be just because the Rouser itself is built in. Of course, that will make it more expensive if you go to look for one. But if you're looking for a belt that you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of your best bet is to go with the uh, the chalice rouser as opposed to the uh, the other belts that had uh, about three or four sounds. Um, again, I have the distaste of the cards coming in a holder instead of being in the uh, the rouser itself. But where are you going to put 12 cards at inside of a inside of a belt? Um, so anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave any comments, suggestions, or anything to that effect in the comments below and uh, we will see you next time when uh, when I review the chalice arrow so thanks for watching and I'll see you all later